Hello everyone. So I unplugged the ignition switch, which is here, uh, and I connected to the two wires. Now that those two wires connect, ultimately connect to where the key goes. Okay. And those two wires become four wires on the other end of that plug. If you look at the previous video, I show what that other side of that plug looks like. So I wanted to see if we were getting any power here. I'm showing 11.21 volts, which is very interesting, right? Because what I don't know is, is that a continuous 11.21 volts? Is that just the capacitor that's going to discharge slowly as, as the motorcycle sits? See how, how it's dropping a little bit? This little LED light is, takes so little power to, to run that it, it, I don't know if it would take all night to run that voltage down, if that's just the capacitor, or if that is a continuous source of 12 volts. But I tested that to see if I had some power there. But but again, the this system, the the uh, this here, this um, D16X motorcycle dash cam. It's a waterproof dash cam for motorcycles. It needs 12 up to 36 volts of continuous power going to, if I understand it correctly, going to this red wire right here. Now this yellow wire is ignition on. Uh, power. So when the ignition is turned on, we have power going to this. When the ignition is turned off, the power is no longer there. This goes to a battery. This is a battery. See, battery plus? That wants continuous power. And this is ground, so that can go to a battery negative or to the frame anywhere on the frame. That does seem to appear to be holding a steady 11.21 volts, but that is not the 12 volt minimum that this system wants. And I do not want the system to be underpowered. Now again, this is a 2016 Zero SR electric motorcycle with a 115 volt battery, which is much too high of a voltage for this the uh, dash cam system. Um, I do have uh, 12 point, or no, 13.6 volts at the at the USB ports there, going into there, because this has two accessories uh, plugs up here that are in the back here that I rerouted up to the, my USB charging ports there. I have one there and a separate plug over there. So when the key is turned on, usually when it's plugged in, right now it's unplugged, right? So if I turn that key on, it's not gonna do anything. But uh, I would have power going, I would have 13.8 uh, was the last reading we had going there volts which is right within specification for for our power here so let's see if that's what I that might be what I'm going to do that might be what I end up connecting to because it's within the specification I do not want to be below the 12 volts that's 11.21 volts that's not enough uh, I tested the fuse box here I didn't see any power here although not continuous power with the key off right I didn't see any continuous power when the key was turned off so uh, now that could have just been my testing if you have this motorcycle please test that for yourself um, because i was using this little these little wires here and i was pushing them into the uh, one the positive into each of these and holding the negative here as a ground so my bet my ground may not have been accurate and my touching the wire at each one of these may not have been enough but for my testing it was enough at the moment i'm moving forward so uh this wants to be powered on and off when the key's on or off. This wants continuous 12 to 36 volts from a battery that this does not have, right? Although, I do have 13.8 volts, th between 13.6 and 13.8 volts at these USB accessory plugs there going into those even though those have to be turned on in the front on the back side there's power going to those and I can connect into there splice in or or T in I'll call it for this connection right here for these and then these two together together would go to the red to the uh, the, to the positive of that of those USB, I'm calling them USB, I think that's the correct name for these, USB charging plugs on the back side, okay? And then the ground could probably go to the ground of that same plug. So one side's plus and one side's minus, and then see if it works. Now I'm seeing this voltage is not dropping, which is good, and I could write the company and ask them, is 11.21 volts enough? But it already says it wants at least 12 volts. 
and I do not want to underpower this system. I don't want to have any glitches or any problems. I could always change it at a future date. So this, I could use this video, which I do with my videos. I'll use this video as a reference for this test. And I'll look back at this number. <clears throat> and if I really want that feature where when the motorcycle's powered off, there's, if there's, if 11.2 volts is enough, 11.21 volts is enough for this 12 volt continuous, 12 to 36 volt continuous wire here to allow the sensor on this syst on this motorcycle, if it's bumped or something happens to the motorcycle where there's an impact when the motorcycle's turned off, it would allow it to record for a certain number of seconds, which might be uh, also a setting. I don't know if it's a fixed number or, or, or if it can be adjusted at the moment. I will learn that as time progresses. Okay, everyone, that was just a quick update video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.